questions. The first 4.2 question is, I guess we'll do number five right here. 4.2, number five, number three. Number five on the in the book, number three online. Okay, this is again, this this question is a little bit, you know, it's repetitive. We've been doing this now on the calculator and the Excel spreadsheets. So I'm going to do it on the Excel spreadsheet. We'll go from there. So it's pulling it up. There is the Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to make it bigger so y'all can see. Now, if y'all want to punch it in your calculator, go ahead and do that. And here is the graph insert. There's the graph. Give y'all a second to get y'all's things together with the calculator. Right click. Add trend line. And there is your equation and your R. Of course, your calculator will give you all of that. But since I'm using, hold on. Since I'm using an Excel spreadsheet to kind of let everybody see what's going on, I have to calculate the R. So I go right here and I say R is equal to equals 0 0.9044 raised to the 0.5 power. So write that information down. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write it down so I'll have it when I go out of the spreadsheet. So why? We got a, we got a graph that looks like this. Let's see, one right there, one right there, right there, right there, and it looks like that. And we've got y is equal to negative 0.6979x plus 6.4596, and r is equal to 0.9509995. Okay, that should be everything that they asked for. So let's see. So which one is it? Priority one it looks like this one. On secured channel. Hold on a minute. Someone can't get in. And hit alpha, I believe alpha is it. And there appears to be a negative relationship. And it says round to three decimal places. So that's going to be negative point six nine seven nine. See how it is. You always give me out. And six point four five nine six and that says round of three decimal places, so that would be 0 0.460. 0 0.460. And that's everything done, and you can do it on the calculator or you can do it on the Excel spreadsheet. And like I said, that's what all these problems are going to be. There's just a rounding issue there. There it is. How come you always leaving me out? Okay, and there's the line. All of this, like I said, is on the Excel spreadsheet or the calculator. That's it. So that's 4.2 number five. And good to do the next one. I've been doing these all day. And I did them, I did them yesterday in the 1-2023. 
and I did them this morning in the 120 10 class. And people are not using their calculators. Use your calculators. Delete. All right, this is 4.27 slash 4. 4.27 slash 4. So I'm going to use my calculator. I got to pull it up. It takes a second for it to pull up. Is my mic working? Yeah. Now, I mean, I don't know why I'm not getting your calls. They're not they're not coming in. I don't even have a message from you saying we're going to start at 545. Did everybody see that message? It wasn't in my email and it wasn't on here. No, it wasn't on email. It was just on Teams. No, I don't have it. Well, you're here, so. I know, but every time I get in, I'm late and then you've already started. And Well, that's the good thing about recordings. That's right. Okay, here we go. Y is equal. I'm sorry, not y is equal. Stat, calculate or edit. And I'm going to punch these in just like y'all are as soon as I get them where y'all can see them. There you go. So the first one is four, five, six, eight, nine. Four. Five, six, eight, nine. I'm going to delete that one. And six, eight, eight, fourteen, sixteen. Six, eight, eight, fourteen, sixteen. All right. You got it? Well, that looks like a margarita. Made. All right, so let's go ahead and do a chart plot. And I don't, we don't have to, we don't have to go to second plot because you should have it, unless you turned it off, it should be still on. So all you have to hit is graph. And of course, mode nine, I'm sorry, zoom nine. And there's your points. So let's match it up. Look, Which it's working. One? Yeah, it's working. After we figured it out. Yeah. All right. Which one is it? It's Delta because you see these two right here. They're side by side. And that's the one you see them side by side. So Delta is the answer. Now it says, what is the, find the equation. So now we go to stat, calculate. Linear what? Regression and calculate. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put two point. Let's see, round simplified fractions. Okay, it doesn't say round, so I'm going to round to three. 2.047, 2.047. And then negative 2.698 negative 2.698 now doesn't say rounding so if you get a one like this on a test and it doesn't say round then i will pretty much take any answer you put in there as long as it's close because they don't say round so i'm probably going to get it wrong too so let's see what they want I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. This I'm not reading me the up earlier. I'm not reading the directions. Look what the directions say, y'all. This is this is where you do the y minus yeah. y squared. No, you don't have to. You do it in your calculator. Well, I need to know how to do that. You punch in those two numbers. Where? Right here. Punch them in where on the ca calculator. Edit. I'm showing you the easy way. Four and six is already there. Okay. There's four and six. And nine 
and 16. And I'm going to put 16 over here. And I'm going to delete all the other ones. Oh, God. You go, we'll delete, have, I'll have, delete, I'll have delete, to go back and watch this. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, so instead of five points, you only got two points. Four and six, nine and 16. And now hit stat, calculate, linear regression, and calculate. Make sure you read the directions because it says it right here. So two and negative two. Now they're going to ask you for the other, but that's fine. All right, where is the graph hitting that four, six, and nine, sixteen? So four, six, and nine, sixteen. This is the graph right here, D. And now it's asking for what we had. Did somebody write that down a while ago? Did somebody write down the, the, the slope? What was it? Nobody wrote it down. Thanks, class. Thanks. I just got here. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. Rest of the class could have wrote it down, but they didn't write down a damn thing. They'll start a revolution. Hold on a second, and I'll do it again. Somebody could have wrote down that last line. Four, five, six, eight, nine. Six. I'm just not used to people not doing anything. I'm just not used to that. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to I'm sit like a, sitting like a tit on a bull and not communicating. Hey, I, I just don't understand got, that. Did I tell you I got Yeah, you told us eight, 14, and 16. You know way I'm going to start teaching. I'm going to start coming to class, and this is what I'm going to start doing. And this is what I'm going to do for 50 minutes, like y'all are doing. And then no, I'm going to turn off my video. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm just going to sit here, and Ms. Mance is going to go, Hubert, are you there? And I'm just going to sit here. I ain't going to say a damn thing. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, I don't know what the hell's going on, but somebody needs to turn their damn camera on. I ought to get brownie points for that being this I, I just, in class. I and I really, I don't understand how y'all gonna do this in the real world. I really don't understand how y'all gonna do it. Y'all just gonna sit there. The boss is gonna tell you you need to do this, this, and you're just gonna sit there like this. <laughs> anyway, stat, calculate, linear regression. And this is what I had the other day. I meant the other the other time that y'all didn't write it down. 2.0, what does it say round to? Three decimal places? 2.047. 2.047. And point to negative 2.698. Negative 2.698. Now, do I like this as a test question? It's, a, it's okay as a test question, but I really don't care for it because, and bravo, there's your two side by side right there. I really don't like it because it, it confuses you right here because I didn't even see that. When I, when I saw this right here, I automatically thought it was asking for this. So is it a good question to get you ready for the test? Yes. 
but I don't like it as a test question. Oh my God, how many more places do they want? It's Computer a pain in the ass. Air of the it's residual found in part B. Okay, let me show you the formula for that. I don't think we ever gonna get to chapter five because of these stupid questions they ask. I'm sorry. This some of these slow. questions. Some of these questions are just ridiculous. Every one of them's like that. Oh, no, not every one of them. They're well, not all like that. All right, look at there. Here is. Okay, there's X bar and there's Y bar. I'm trying to find D. Hold on a minute. They're doing it by hand. Good gosh. D. Oh, gosh. All right, here it is. Where's D? All right, you see this right here? It says the equation of the least squares regression line is given by y hat is equal to b sub 1 x plus b sub o, where b sub 1 is r, your coefficient, your, your correlation coefficient, times s sub y over s sub x. And the least squared regression is b sub o, which is y bar minus b1 x sub 1, x bar. Why in the world are they doing this? I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not, but just, I'll have to adjust your homeworks. I'll adjust your homeworks accordingly. We moving on. I'm not, I'm not going through all of this. I mean, look at all this. I'm not asking y'all to do all of this math. Compute the sum of the squares, squared residual found in A in part B. Actually, hold on a second. Close. Hold on just a second. I think there is a way you can do this on your calculator. If y'all hold on just a second. Some of the squared residuals found in part B. Some of the squares, hold on, I think TI 83, 84 plus some of the squares residual. Yeah, there is a way you can do it. OK, hold on just a second. Let me let me do it for y'all. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not listening to this because they like to talk. They like to hear themselves talk. Hold on. Let me see if I can find out what they're doing here. There it is. Under, under, there it is. Hold on a second. Hold on a second.
L3. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do that. This is not a test question, but let's see if we can do that. All right. They said a B. So we got to put that in. Oh gosh, we have to redo that for B. Hold on just a second. And math. Go to stat. Edit. And there should be the residuals. It's not the residuals. I don't know why it doesn't say the residuals. Second L3. It's not the residuals. So how did they get the residuals there? Let me go to stat, calculate, first variable or linear regression, L1, L2, calculate. There's that. Now, go to stat, edit, and it should have the residuals right there but it doesn't, so I need to add them. Let me go back and see. I'm spending too much time on 4.1 and 4.2. I need to move on. All right, let's move. Let's, let's, let, let, don't worry, I've done it with all the classes, so you're not the only class. Just don't think all this is necessary for an introductory statistics class, I'm sorry. Let me find the residuals. I agree. Again. It's over my head. <laughs> it's just the calculator thing. Hold on. I wish I'd, I wish I could listen to the whole thing, but they. I do the same different colors for the one that you bought me. Second stat, there we go. Okay, I found it. Second stat, so take the calculator, go up to L3 and hit second stat and go down to residuals and hit enter. And there you go. Now do stat, calculate first linear regression and then instead of L2 you hit second L3 and calculate. And I don't see, hold on, math second Diagnostic on, enter, stat, calculate, linear regression, and L3, calculate. They're not giving us a summation of R squared. Why isn't it doing the summation of R squared? Okay, just tell us how to do it. One variable stat. Okay, my bad. One variable stat. I was going to the wrong thing. Sorry. Stat. Calculate first variable stat and type second three and calculate. And the summation of X squared is 3.16. So see that summation of X squared? 
3.16. Now, does that tell you anything? No, it doesn't tell you a God-blessed thing in what we're doing. 3.16 should be your answer. Three decimal places, of course. Now, I think they want this, but they may want it for the first one. 3.163. 3.163. No, they want it. I know what they want it for. They want it for these two points right here. So now I got to do everything over and do it for 4, 6, and 9, 16. <sighs> Hold on. 4, 6, and 9, and 16. I hope y'all paying attention to this because I'm not going to do it again. Delete. 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 Delete, delete, delete. Now there's the two points. I'm going to stat. Calculate. First variable or linear, sorry. And L1, second L1. And second L2, just like before, and calculate. And that's what we did before, you know, with the two points. Now we got to go back to stat, edit, go to L3, and go to second stat, and go to residual and hit enter and i don't know how they're going to get that but anyway y is equal to or stat calculate first variable statistic on l3 and you're going to come up with zero i don't understand what they're doing i'll have to we'll have to spend another day on this question because of that one stupid part so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to worry about getting chapter five. I'll worry about this when y'all come back from weekend. We'll worry about that later. I'm not going. I'm not going to spend a whole class period finding something you don't need for the test. All right. So the next question we got that was four point. I can't remember what number it was. Four point two five or that was five, wasn't it? This is 4.27. Please let this be a normal question. Or is this the one we just did? Is this the one we just did? Is it say Hell, four and, gonna tell me. Is it say four yeah. and two and four and six and nine and sixteen? Yeah, I'm not doing did. that one. That's the one we just did. All right, 4.213. Here's 13. 4.213 slash five. Okay, this is a test question. All right, the least squared regression equation is, punch that in your calculator right now. I'm gonna blow it up for you because this is all you gotta do. This is a calculator question. Okay. So don't mess it up, okay? Okay. Y is equal to 746X plus 13,099. That's not a point. That's a decimal. I'm sorry. That's not a decimal. That is a comma. 13,099. So I take my calculator and I go to Y is equal and I type in 746.8 Just hold on. If I could hit the right numbers, I would be all right. X plus 13,099. Just don't put anything. Just put 13099. Now go ahead and hit graph because you want to send it through it the, the calculator. I don't care if you don't see it or not. You can hit, I think you can hit stat. 
Zoom. And I think number y is equal to seven zoom bit, which is zero. And there's the line. Now you really don't care. As long as you send it through, that's good. All right, I want to show you something else on your. See right here where it says predict the median at 20%. What? How do you predict? Well, you go see this blue light, blue word right here called table. You're going to hit second table. And look at there. There's your values and find 20. I, I'm still getting error in valid dim. When I punch in Y equals. Y is equal. 746.8X X plus 13. 13099. And then and you hit just hit graph. graph. Now, see, look. Turn your plot off, please. Your stat plot. How, how do I turn that off? Go to stat. Go to, go to second. Y is equal. And turn second. the stat plot off. Oh, so where it says calculators, plot. you have to do that. Okay. And now hit graph. One off. OK, let's go back to Y equals. OK, I, it don't. It don't have a line. What do you say? Is hit zoom. Zoom. Hit. OK, enter. There it goes. OK, we're good. OK, now hit second and graph. See the word table above graph? That's what you're doing. OK, come up like this. Yeah, and go down to 20. Because it asks for what is the outcome of 20%. 28,035. That's what you should get. Check. Does everybody get that? Yeah. All right. Then write that down. 28,035. Go back to the question. 28,035. All right, it says right here, in a particular region, 27.3%, that's our new X right there, 27.3, of adults, blah, 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 blah. The median income in this region is 30,000, 163. Is the income higher or lower than you would expect? All right, now let me tell you what they're doing here. Does everybody see what I've highlighted here? That first sentence to 30,000 is with this point right here at 27.3 and this point right about here, somewhere in here. That's what that 30,000 is. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. That is a point at 27.3. This is the X and this is the Y. This line is the best fit line that goes through all of these points. And what they're wanting to know is which is more accurate, the 27.330 dot or 27.3 on our new line right here. So let's go to the, the, the calculator. Look, we don't have to the 10th, do we? There's 27, but we don't have 27.3. So we got to quit, right? No, we hit second. Table set above windows. See table set. And I'm going to change my units to tenths. So I'm going to put point one enter. And now go back to the table and look at your look at your points here. They're in tenths now. So I'm going to scroll down. To 27 point what? Uh, three. And there is 27.3. What is it? I'm getting there. Hang on. You know my computer's slow. Greetings.
33,487. Write that down. We're going to go back. And this is higher than expected because the expected is 33 what? 33,487. And look where I punched that right there. And that's higher than this 30,000. And check answer. Okay, then this is lower than. I'm sorry, this is lower. This. <laughs> there. This is lower. Okay, what they're saying is this this right here. The 30,000 is lower than our what? 33,000. Have y'all noticed that I didn't cover these in the notes? Yeah. Now you know why. Yeah. Okay. Now this says, oh, this is this is going to be even better. The interpret the slope. Select the correct choice below. What is the slope of this line? Well, the slope is that is the M. Hold on. The slope is M, and in this case, the slope. I'm trying to get everything you can see. There it is. 746.8 over 1. Vertical over what? Horizontal. So that means for every one unit you go to the right, the vertical is going to be what? 746.8. There's the slope. And it's positive, so that means left to right up. So we know that for every one unit we go to the right, we go 746 units, what? Up. Priority one message coming in on secure channel. So let's go down and see what they say. For every dollar to the median income, the percent of adults having at least bachelor's degree is blank percent. Or for, we don't have any percent, so it'll be the first one. For 0% of adults having a degree, the median income is predicted to be, wait a minute, here, uh, there's a C and D. For every percent increase, here we go, the median income increases by 746.8. For every 1%, let's go back and look. For every 1%, what does it do? It increases $746.80. And that's what this is right here. Oh my God, please tell me that's it. No, hell no, it's not. All right, explain why it does not make sense to interpret the y-intercept. Okay, well let's let's talk about the y intercept. What is the y intercept? What is the y intercept? The y intercept is right here. Where x is equal to what? 0. All right? Does everybody understand that? The line is crossing at the y intercept and the y intercept, y'all learn this in pre-algebra and algebra 1. The y-intercept is always zero, comma, and then the number. Does everybody remember that from pre-algebra? Well, you should. All right. So what does it say? What is X? The percent of bachelor's degrees. Okay. So if X is zero, that means we have zero percent with bachelor's degree is zero look somebody look at your graph is zero even on the graph no no zero is not on the graph so it would be outside the scope you just got to read it so it's either going to be it does not make sense it's either going to be bravo or delta 
because an x value of zero is outside the scope of the model. I would say that's the answer. But it's probably wrong because. This whole this whole question is going to be a test question. No, I was thinking it was, but it's not because I will not ask you that many parts on a, on the test. Yes, I hope not. <sighs> I was hoping we'd get through with these, but I don't even think we're going to get through all of these questions. All right, this is 4.2. That's 4.213. I went through that one. This is 4.215. 4.215. Is there a relationship between the age difference, blah, 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 to that that is illiterate? Researchers found the least squares regression Basically, there's your line right there of age difference and literacy rate percent of the population is Y is equal to blah, 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 blah. Now, what is this? Uh, what is this right here? Somebody that's had algebra before. Tell me what that is. Starts with a D. 16 to 100. What is that? Starts with a D. O. M. Dimension. D O M. I don't know. A. I. Dominant. Domain. You know how long it's been since I've been in an algebra class? 115 years, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, like 2016. Yeah. So that means. So what does domain mean? Domain means that we are only looking at 16 to what it say, 16 to what? 100. 16 to 100. So we're only looking at this graph from 16 to 100. I want everybody to look at this. That's what we're looking at. I don't know what the graph looks like, but we're only looking from 16 to 100. Does everybody understand that? That's called the domain. So anything outside of 16 to 100, we don't really care about. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. Yes, I understand. That's pretty, you know. Yeah. If I tell you that you can only go from Anderson to Atlanta and you can't go any further, then that means that's your domain. You can only go from Anderson to Atlanta. That's it. That's your domain. All right. So let's go back to the question. First of all, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this right here so I can look at. I have no idea what this is going to ask for, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the calculator. So. I'm going to. Go Y is equal to. Negative, which is down here, the negative right there. Uh, point zero four six eight zero four six eight x plus eight point two eight point two zero. So I don't have to hit delete and graph. Can't see it, so I'm gonna hit zoom six. Still can't see it very good, but that's good enough. It's a line coming across here like this. Now the table, I can start hit table set. What does that say right there? Table what? Start. Start. Where do you think I'm gonna start mine? Let's go back and look. 16. Where am I gonna start mine? 16, Hubert. That's right, because that's where that's where all we care about. So I'm gonna go back to the and I'm gonna put a 16 right here. And I don't know if they're going to ask for decimals, so I'm going to leave this as one unit. And I'm going to just hit enter. And I'm going to hit second table. And there are my numbers from 16 to what? 100. And I really don't care about those after 100 because they don't, that's not in my domain. So after 100, I really could care less about 101, 102. I don't care about those. So let's see what it's going to ask us. I have no idea what it's going to ask us. It says the applied mar blah, 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 parts part A through Z. 
We're going to ask 26 questions on this one, probably. Interpret the slope. OK, the slope. Let me go through that again with you. The slope. Is. Vertical yeah. over what? Horizontal. We know it's negative, so I'm going to redraw this. We know the line is somewhat like this. And we know that this is 16 through 100. And that's all we care about is that portion right there. And we know that for every one unit, because we got negative 0.0468, 0468 over 1. What is what is slope? Vertical over what? Horizontal. So that means for every foot I go this way, I'm going to go down 0 0.0468. I'm going to go over 1. I'm going to go down 0 0.0468. I'm going to go over 1. I'm going to go down 0 0.0468. So that's what that means. So let's see where it says that. For every unit increase in what? Eight well, eight. every unit increase would be the Y axis. So what is the Y axis in this one? H y is equal to, let's look up here. There we go, population X. Y is the population. For any increase in population, what does it say right here? Between age difference, Y, and literacy rate. Age difference. So that would be Y, and literacy rate would be X, correct? The literacy rate, well, I mean, that's, that's backwards. That would be age difference, and that would be literacy rate. You have Falls by what? Point zero four what? Point zero four six, six eight. eight. And that should be your answer. This is not a test question. I'm not going to ask this on the test, Hell, especially with 15 parts. Does it make sense? None of these questions I'm going over will be on the test. Does it make sense to interpret the y-intercept? Well, let's look. First of all, let's look at our picture. Are we even concerned about the y-intercept? No, because x is zero at the y-intercept. And where do we start with? 16. We start with 16, so we really don't care about the y-intercept. But what does the y-intercept mean? Well, it says right here that the literacy rate is X. Now, I'm sorry, but do you think that there's anybody in the world that's zero literate? <laughs> you really want well, to ask that question. <laughs> yeah, I better, I better, better rephrase that. There, there are some people that want to get rid of Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head. Uh, so we will, we will leave that question alone, but it's out of the scope. So which one says that? can't read it. I think it's right here. It says no, it does not make sense to interpret the y intercept because e. x value is outside the scope of the model. You could say that unless they've got two. They may say that zero literacy is impossible. I don't think so, but there that's the answer. Oh my god. Predict the age difference between husband and wife with a literacy rate of what? 38, so X is equal to 38. What are we gonna do? Go to our handy dandy calculator. Go to the table and look for 38. 38 is what? Somebody look on your calculator, what do you get? I get 6.4216. 6.4216. Go back to the 6.4 says round to one decimal place. 6.4 years. Oh, 
how many more questions we got on this? Well, it makes sense to use the model to predict the age difference between hunt where the literacy rate is 6%. We could, but isn't 6% outside of our scope? Yes. Yes. So I would say no, because six is outside our scope with the X value. I think I'm going to get a 40% on this homework. The literacy rate in country is 99% and the average literacy rate for two years. Is the age difference above or below? They want you to look at 99%. So let's go back to the calculator and look at 99%. Somebody tell me what they get for their 99%. How do you change it back over to regular stat table one? Second table. Mm -hmm. And change it to one? Yeah, change table set, second table set, and change it to one. I got okay. 3.5668. And then go back and hit what? Gra not graph. Second table, which is graph. Second graph. I'm still on the point, 21.8 and crap. Nah. All Whatever. Right. Go to second table set. Change that to one. I did. Somehow or another, it's all fudged up. So table start. I don't know how that got to 81. Is Mine 16. was 20. Okay. And hit enter. Now go to table set. Now go to second graph and go yeah. down until you get to 99. Oh, good God. Did somebody, I need somebody to confirm 3.5668. That's what I got. Okay. So oh, which one is it? It says above the average, and that is what did we say it was? 3.5668. What does it say round two? 3.6. And they want the second part because their number is lower. So it's the second one below 3.6. Because their number is two. Here's their number right there, two. Their number is lower than our number, so below our average. This is a confusing way to ask this question because they've got the number right here. And what they need to say is our number of 3.6 is lower than 2. It's what they need to put that 2 in this sentence. So you'll have some kind of context. I'm sorry, y'all see me losing my patience. I'm not losing my patience with y'all. I'm losing my patience with these questions. 4.229. 4.229. There ain't that many questions on there, was there? Yeah, this is. these are all the 4.2 questions. There was a lot of repetition. There was a lot of repetition, so I deleted a lot of the repetition. All right, so this question, explanatory, what's the second letter of explanatory? X. So that's the X axis. Explanatory is the X axis. Now this one, this one you will see on the test because this one I like. All right, <laughs> one of the biggest factors, okay, so put this in your calculator. Now I, I can't make it bigger, I'm sorry, but that's all I got. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can make the. You gonna have that many numbers in it? No, but this is a good question. I mean, I'm talking about the question. It's a good question. So put those numbers in right there. Put those numbers in your calculator. And go ahead and look up. Go ahead and look up the uh, the uh, equation and R. Well, I'm not going to ask you any of that other stupid stuff. Yeah, I need some tutoring on this.
this is the question that y'all, you know, this is the question that we've been doing. We ain't got the 15 minutes left. So much for getting chapter five. Is that our fault or just the homework? Because we don't know how to do it. I, I can't I can't read it, so I really can't put it in my calculator. So well, I'll tell you what I'll do. No, it's I'll okay. I'll make it bigger for you. It, it's okay. No, I'm going to do it on the Excel spreadsheet. I'm not doing it on the calculator. So make it bigger for you. And that way I can do everything for y'all and not have to go through. Because I can't type it in the calculator with this mouse. It'll take me forever. There you go. How's that? Better. That better. Yeah. Even with my glasses on, I still can't read it, you know, when it's small. So Yeah, I know. Oh, that's all fucked up. Whoops, excuse my language. All right. So get those in. Let me make them bolder. So that would be easier for you to see. Get those in the calculator. And turn that hollow light on please. because it puts a shadow on here and it doesn't work good. Thank you. Well, light switch is under the raccoon hat. Well, I didn't know that was yeah, I don't use it that much. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it for y'all. Y'all go ahead and look in y'all. Has Lauren left? Okay. I didn't think she had. Okay. Insert. Okay, here's the drawing. So y'all look at y'all's plot and see if that's what y'all's look like. Somebody tell me yes or no. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to hit right click and y'all look at y'all's line. Let me do the display and get out of this. And here is the equation. And I'm going to do R for y'all. R is equal to, oh, that's going to be equal to 0.8234 raised to the second 0.5 power, sorry. Okay, check y'all's calculator. And tell me if y'all got that equation and R. Yes or no? Yes. You got it? Yes. Priority one okay. message coming in on secured channel. Okay. Now, write those two down. I'm going to write them down. Y is equal, because I have no idea what it's going to ask. Y is equal to 0.1577x plus 11.073 and R is equal to 0 0.9074 13908. 
and we got a graph. I'm not going to try to draw that graph. I'm just going to draw. Let's see, we got two points out by themselves. Excuse me. And we got two points up here by themselves and one point right there. So what, I, what I'm doing is I'm drawing the extremities. I drew those two points that were by themselves, these two points and these two points so I can match them up. See those two points right there? And these two points and this point. And that's what I drew. I drew the extreme so I can get some kind of idea of what this looks like. So now I can go back to the question. And it should be asking me what to the what does the plot look like? And we said that X explanatory, which is the second letter is X, is square footage. And it says that right here. Look. What is X? Square footage. So if X is a square footage, what is Y? The selling price, Hubert. Thank you, class. Which one? Well, they got this one right. Whoever sent this question got this part right. There it is, B. And there's your two points out by themselves. And there's those two points by themselves. This, why can't this be the answer? They're not symmetrical. It, they're, they're, they're perfect. In other words, this is perfect. Yeah. That's a perfect. You're not going to get that. There's no way that you're going to do a bunch of data and get a perfect line like that. All right, what's wrong with this one? Uh, it's not. It's, it's, negative. It's, it's negative slope. And this one is positive. So it's either it's either Bravo or Delta. The other two can be deducted or eliminated because this is perfect and this is negative slope. Then we can see that our answer is a positive slope when we drew it out and saw it on the graph. So it's either Bravo or Delta. And this one, the two points that are by themselves are on the wrong side. They're supposed to be on the bottom. See here? There's those two points right there. They're on the bottom. So that's, and plus you just use your calculator and it'll show you what it is. All right, next. What's it going to ask next? R. What did we get for R? 0.907? Four I got point nine oh seven. Yeah. So y'all hold on one second. Go ahead and answer that next question. Sorry, I had to beat my son. All right, so is there a linear relation between square footage and asking price? Well, it looks like to me, look at our line, look. Is there a linear relationship? Mm -hmm. Let me ask y'all a question in real life. Y'all ready for this real life question? Yep. If you buy a big house, are you going to pay money for it? Nope, you're going to finance it. And then you're going to pay interest on it. And you're going to pay more in interest than you did for okay, the real house. Let me rephrase this. If you buy a one room shack, are you going to pay more for a mansion? Yep. Okay. So is there a linear relationship between square footage of a house and the price of a house? Yes. Yes. That's a real world question right there. And there is our. Let's see, 0.158 plus 11.1. .1. That's our. Now, this is what I want to ask you. For every unit, let's look at the, let's look at the, here we go. We're going to go look at the slope again. What did we say X was? Square what? What is X? Y'all are not working with me here. What is X? 
footage. Thank you. Square footage. What is why? Price. The price of what it costs to build it. So for every one unit, because the slope is 0.1577 over one, for every square foot, you're going to go up what? 15 cent, 15 to 18 cent or percent. Okay. So which one says that? For every additional square foot, for every additional thousand dollars, I think it's going to be D. For every additional square foot, the selling price increases by point one five eight thousand dollars. Point one five eight thousand dollars. Now here's the question I want to ask you. And everybody ought to get this one right. Is it reasonable to interpret the y-intercept? So let's look and see what the y-intercept is. And I'm going to try to give you all the answers so you all don't screw this up. X is equal to zero square feet. And let's say this is $2,000. Let's say that's $2,000. I just pulled a number out of my hat. Okay. Is that reasonable to buy a zero square foot house for $2,000? No. No. It's not reasonable. Why? You're not going to have a house. You're not going to have a house. It's going to be, it's going to evaporate. Zero square footage. That's like being zero days old. Do you, do you just drop out of existence? No. Zero square footage does not make any sense. So please don't mess that up on the test. So your answer is going to be either no, no, or no. Now, which one of those fit? C or D, I think. It's C because you, remember this, you always got to include this in the answer. It's outside the scope of the model. Remember pinky? Hold your pinky up. So zero square foot is not possible and outside the scope of the model. Oh my God. The home that is 1436 square feet is sold for 215. So you need to look up 1436. So let's go to our handy dandy calculator and let's type in our formula. Y is equal to 0.157X. 0.1577x plus 11.073. And I'm going to just hit graph. I don't care about seeing it. I don't care about seeing the graph because all you do, all you're doing is you're putting that formula in the calculator so you can hit second table and get your numbers that you want. What did we need? What did they say? 36 or what were they saying? Hold on, let me go look at the question. This is making my head hurt. You and me uh, both. One home that is 1,436 square feet is sold for, so I got to get up to 1,400. I'm going to go to 1,400. So I'm going to start my table, go to your table set, second table set, and I'm going to start at 14, what? 100. Yeah, 1400. You can start at 1429 if you wanted to, and hit enter, and hit second table, and now I'm going to go to 1430, what? 1436. What did y'all get at 1436? 238,000 feet, 238,000 square feet or whatever, uh, 237,000, whatever. All right, you're right. So you would put, now again, this is one of those questions that are confusing. Okay, see if you can look at it and tell me what you think it, 
think the answer is. One home that is 1,436 square feet is sold for 215,000. Is this home's price, this right here, 215, above or below? The home's price is below the average price. The average price is, what do we say it was? 200, well, they want us to round, let's see. What does it say round to? Round to the nearest whole number. So that'd be 238,000. And say a prayer that we get this one right. A lot of work. There. Well, or what? remember, you're not going to have a lot of points. You're not going to have, I, on the test, I won't give you more than five points, five or six points. You know those questions that y'all were sending me with four or five points? Five or six points? Yes or no? Yeah. Those are the questions I'm going to give you on the test. Okay. Okay. Let's call it a night, y'all. I got to celebrate birthday. Happy birthday. We'll see y'all. And I, oh, let me let me look at the roll real quick. Hold on. Let me shut off the recording.